Another game and another disappointing performance by the Chicago Bulls and the Bulls coaching staff against the Los Angeles Clippers that just led to a winnable game, but a very, very ugly game. We're going to talk about that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. Chicago Bulls lost another game against the Los Angeles Clippers that saw them lose a big lead, as always, with the Chicago Bulls. And they just, this Bulls team just does not execute down the stretches of close games well enough to win games. The Bulls were in position to win this game. And for those that have already seen the highlights, things like that, this game, we were down by one point. Zach Levine took a bad three-point shot, got bailed out, and fouled on the shot by Powell, and then went on to only make one out of the three free throws, that would have put the Bulls either up or at least they should have walked away with a tied game in that. Then furthermore, the Bulls still in a position to try to go for another shot down the stretch with only being down by three and Alex Caruso cannot inbound the ball. And it, it inbounds it bad. It ends up getting turned over. Zach, the game's over with by that. But there were so many things leading up to that. This was a game that saw Io and Patrick William both score 11 points supporting that big three. I said in yesterday's preview episode, we have to have at least two of our role players show up, be it either off the bench or, or Io and Patrick Williams. They both showed up in major ways. Uh, Patrick Williams also getting six rebounds, one assist, one block. That's the game that you, that's in this type of game, right? In a game in which Vooch was cooking early. Vooch came out in this game and he seemed determined to, to single-handedly dismantle the Los Angeles Clippers. And when we were playing through Nikola Vucevic, we had a 19-point lead. For some reason, we go away from that, as well as the lack of size in that first half of the game. We still end up going up uh, at the half. I think we were, were we still up? No, I think we were down by four at the half. I can't remember. I, no, we were up by four at the half. Apologies. And then we end up just completely blowing the lead again. It's just, listen, and if you watch this game, you saw like, Alex Caruso was all over the place. And, and you know, in one play, he got, like, a steal and, and it, out in transition, got the rebound, played good defense on Kawhi. Like, it was beautiful to see. He was active. He also chipped in the most points off the bench. He was 3-3 from the field with 10 points. There were even times where Zach Levine was switched on Kawhi Leonard, and I thought, oh, this is about to be bad. And Zach Levine probably played one of his best defensive games I've ever seen Zach Levine play. But the 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 low IQ things down the stretch of the game from both players, him and DeMar combining for 14 of 10 of 20 team turnovers. It was a bad game for everyone in the quote unquote big three, but Nikola Vucevic. And we did not go to Nikola Vucevic in the second half. As a matter of fact, Vooch in the, in the last four minutes of the game, touched the ball one time. And that was the player that when we were playing through him, the bulls looked the best in this game. The offense flow, not just in this game, we've seen it. The fact of the matter is, is that Billy Donovan continues to put his his players in bad situations. Yes, it's not all on Billy. It's not all on the players either. That inbound play in which Alex Caruso was struggling to get the ball inbounds, Billy Donovan, as the head coach, should have called a timeout right there. Now, I understand he did not use the timeout because in his mind, oh, we're about to score, and if they go down and score a quick basket, I need a timeout to advance the ball. But simple Things would tell you if you can't even inbound the ball correctly and cleanly, you're not even going to be in a situation to where you even need to worry about that timeout. It's things like that. Not going to Andre Drummond in the first half when we could, when a lot of that run was just by Derrick Jones Jr., the other Bulls players not being able to get rebounds and having the other team having too much size out there. Then when we did finally put Drummond in, in the second half, he only played four minutes, had five rebounds and two points, and then we didn't go to him again. There's just a bunch of decisions that is made by this head coach and Billy Donovan, that in hindsight, and when you look at the evaluate of the game and the way the story went, he failed his players a few times in this game. A few times. And that is what, that, that those things contribute to this Bulls team just continuing to crap the bed, continuing to not be able to execute. We're right back at four games below 500 in a time where I've said we should be making our move. That's it. And this Bulls team, we, when it's all said and done, we have to come to the realization, no matter how much we want, desire, or hope to see this team win, it's not happening this season. This team is probably going to go into the play-in. Let me say that. They probably will be able to sneak in the play-in. Hell, with the way that this team plays against top teams, I wouldn't even be surprised if somehow they decide they come out that play-in tournament, make it to the actual playoffs, and it's still a first-round exit. But AK has to really evaluate 
and a ways to improve this roster with the Lonzo Ball news that it does not seem like Lonzo Ball is coming back to basketball anytime soon. AK has to make other plans and adjust. This is where the GMs make their money because the, this Bulls team right now, at best, is a middle of a pack team. And then with the way that the league improved this offseason, the Bulls just did not improve in enough meaningful ways to stay where they were. And this is a team that's supposed to be trying to step up year after year after year. And because they're not doing that, yeah, all the fans that have, that have a lot of discontent, all the fans that are upset with this Bulls team, all the fans that sit around and they're just, you know, you, we believe, again, I said this earlier in the season, we believe in the losses more than we believe in the wins. And that is with the way that this team plays. The fact that this team has been so up and down this season, it's hard to have faith in even the wins unless it's a long stretch of wins together. The Bulls in the month of January, uh, eight and five on the month, heading into the month of, of, of February. And can they do any different? I, this, this is it. This is the Bulls' last stand. If they are going to be a playing team, this is going to be the time where they need to make their move to do it. Like I said, they're probably stumbling into the playoffs as a playing team, but I'm not too hopeful of, of their chances to do so. And when you have your, your Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan combining for 14 turnovers in a game and shooting the ball terribly when you combine the two, DeMar just, this was one of the worst games I've ever seen DeMar DeRozan play. Eight turnovers alone, taking bad shots. He was eight, eight of 19 from the field. The bad fouls, just, he just made a lot of decisions that it's just like, this is not the decisions of a veteran player. And that's not to say and, and, and crap on his whole season or anything like that. That's just to evaluate just this game. The Bulls team needs a shot in the arm. This Bulls team needs an injection of something. And I know a lot of Bulls fans are going to go and say, well, Dalen Terry, let's play Dalen Terry. If, you, if you're hinging your season improvements on a rookie, um, at this point in the, in the season, a rookie that you have not played yet, it just shows how bad off that we are. Like, it's... It's, it's crazy. And I know we're missing Javante, and I know we, we need and He provides a lot of energy and defense and things like that as well. The deflections and turnovers that him and Alice Caruso uh, can afford us is huge. But Javante Green isn't coming back, at least for another couple of weeks. And by the time he does, you're talking about being on the back end of the season and really looking at just solidifying whatever spot that you're in, much less fighting for one. It's going to be a long season ahead with the 32 games that we have left on the season. I know that, that that sounds like a lot, but it's going to fly by, especially when you look at the all-star break, things like that. And um, yeah, I mean, and I know they're going to get the, I'm going to get the questions on, well, Hayes, what do you think they're going to do with the trade deadline? Does this change anything for that? I don't think so. The, just everything that I get from AK, there's going to be more decision in the offseason on what they're going to do as far as major changes, not to say that we can't see a minor trade or something like that. Uh, but other than that, I just I don't foresee an active trade deadline for the Chicago Bulls. Um, and, you know, not to say that they should either, but it's just this team and where they sit right now is frustrating. It's disheartening. And um, for us that have to cover the team every single day and sit there and talk about this team and, and not even say they have to cover this team for the ones that love this team, the, 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 the fans that sit there and support and they know that no matter how bad this team is, they're not going to be able to look away. They're going to still have to tune in and watch this game. It's a it's a tough season, man. It's a real tough season. That whole inbounds play in the stretch, like just just a just a bad play. And when you look at Billy Donovan and his coaching, and he got an extension. And when you when you can't help your players, when you can't draw up a good um, inbound play, and I know that you know Billy Donovan said post game that uh, we didn't execute the play, but yeah, your game plan was trash, bro. Your game plan was was trash. So, you know, that's where I sit right now on the team. Yeah, it's disappointing. Yeah, it sucks. I know this is one of my shorter episodes in a while, but I don't have really much left to say about the team. If any other news drops, I drop. You know how it goes here at Chicago uh, Bull Central. But otherwise, make sure you're following the show at Bull Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. BullCentralPod at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text and our voicemail, number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related because of you guys. And like I liked in every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See you right if you can, man. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. Break Media. Media.